Okay, so here we are back at the configuration page and let's go over how all of that works. And you can see when you get to the front page, you can watch a video on how to configure it. But I'll be completely honest with you, I just went through the process here without watching the videos. I did watch the main video here, which is more of a fluff piece, but um, I didn't watch any of the training videos inside of here. I just went right to work and uh, it was pretty easy to do. If you go to the general tab, you can see that you can just name your webinar. And we'll just make something up here. And you can put a description. Okay, just like that. And then you can either schedule it or you can do right now. And uh, this is where it'll be ready. As soon as you're done with this, you can boom, just go right to the races and do this. We're going to schedule this for later. Okay. And then you just choose a day and time. So let's say the 13th. And we'll do it at 2126. Again, it's military time. Select the time zone. Pacific. And then you can add another session if you wanted to, but we're just going to leave that at one. And then you've got the admins. So you can add a picture of the admin, okay? And then you can put the admin's name. And the Gmail. Now this Gmail here should be the Gmail of the YouTube account you're going to use with the Hangouts. So if this, it's, it's going to need to be uh, whatever account you're going to post the video to and use for the Hangouts will be the one you want to put in here, okay? And then that's because this is what they call the super admin so you want to check that off if you got more than one person then one person can be the super admin and it'll be their account and then you can add other people um, if you if the super admin is going to be a live speaker you can add this if he's just going to be there to make sure it works then you don't have to do that then you can add another presenter if you want same thing this admin will be a presenter etc you can add an admin who's just going to monitor things if you want and so you can add that person in there but this person will be a speaker etc and when you're done you just hit save module and then you can jump into the registration area. And inside of here, you've got all these different choices for a registration page. It can have video or no video. You can use your own custom design if you want. Uh, there's a couple of really nice ones in here. The one that we used for our webinar was this one here, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, this one also is very nice. And then you can, so let's just say we'll choose this one here. We'll load the template. And you can see you can just type in the main headline. Join us for webinar one, which I spelled wrong, but that's all right. Subheadline, it will be awesome. And then you can choose whether to display a custom video. So if you have a video explaining the product you're going to talk about or a video just inviting people, you'd put the URL in here. Okay, we don't have one right now, so that's fine. You can choose to display social share buttons, which will pop up in the corner. Uh, webinar information box. This will give the titles and descriptions of the people. It'll have the, the images that we chose for the person and their name up here in the top corner. And then you can display text copy if you want. And so this would be just where you can put in you know, whatever information you wanted to to, to uh, add more information in there, etc. Okay. And then uh, you've got registration box fields. You can have a name, email, and you can also add the phone number for the person. And what this will do is if they sign up as a registrant, they put their phone number, they'll get a text message saying, hey, the webinar is going to be starting in a couple minutes. That sort of deal. So you can do that in here if you want. Registration process. Uh, you can do a one-step or a two-step registration on that. Okay. Now, some people say two-step is better um, just because it gets people clicking first. But, you know, that's up to you. You can do either one. And uh, we'll just, do, well, actually, we'll choose two-step first, and we'll do a preview. And you can see very quickly, here is the uh, page. Obviously, we don't have a video on here. It's pretty sparse. But, uh, you know, it'll be awesome. Join us for webinar one. And this is what I mean by a two-step process. Join webinar. See, it's very, what the two-step process does, and the, the psychology behind this is, it's like, oh, all I have to do is click this button. And, of course, if they click that button, then they still have to put in their name and email. But by that point in time, you know, they're already saying yes. So they're like, okay, I might as well put in my name and email. Whereas if it's just the name and email, they might be like, ah, I don't want to get my name and email. So this psychologically, some have said, gets people to be uh, more likely to put in their information. So that's your choice. In a one step, it'll just have the name and email right there. Okay, so that's the preview of that. And then once you're done with this, again, you can hit save module. 
The next thing is pay to register. And this is if you're doing a, a webinar where people have to pay, you can actually do it right through here. Uh, most of the webinars that we're going to do are probably going to be free, but if you wanted to charge, you can. Okay, so you can set a price, $12. Okay, uh, link to the payment checkout. This is where you would put your actual, if you created this on PayPal or whatever program you have that you're going to use for checking people out, you would put that link in here. And then after you've put in that, you can set the registration page and the post payment registration page there. And then hit save module when you're done. And then we got notifications. And notifications is the area where you can actually have emails sent out to folks that sign up. So you can activate your uh, reminders here. Okay, you want to use the built-in system or you can use your own SMTP email server. Personally for me, 10,000 times easier to just let them do it. At uh, Webinar Jam, it's, it doesn't cost anything. It's part of the, the whole package. Your welcome email, you can send a welcome email. Okay. Hi there, this is to confirm the webinar. Here's all the information that automatically it's put in. And then you can put in a message here if you want. And of course, they can click to go to the webinar room right then and there. All of that is done and ready for you. Okay. Then you can do a starting soon email as well. So this would be, uh, you know, uh, before the webinar is about to start, they'll get this email that says, hey, the webinar is going to be starting soon. And you can set your own subject line here. Okay, same type of thing. And then, of course, a pre-webinar notification email. And this one, you can choose when it's going to go out. So you could say an hour before, two hours before, etc. So you want to make sure that you have one. Basically, let's say they sign up on Tuesday for a webinar on Thursday. Well, then they're, they're going to get this one, you know, 10 hours before the, uh, the webinar. And this one's going to come out right before the webinar is ready to start. More emails you send, the more likely they are to show up and remember. So that's what you can do there. You can also queue more if you want. If you want to have one that comes, you know, five hours before. So you can have one come every two hours, whatever. And that'll uh, allow you to get more emails out to people. Then you got the post-webinar notification email. And this is for after the webinar. So maybe an hour after the webinar, you can set this up to go out to them to say, hey, by the way, here's the, the replay of the webinar, etc., etc. Here's the button. You can then queue another email if you wanted to. And this one could be, uh, you know, just another reminder if they wanted to, maybe a day later, who knows? You know, you can just keep doing this forever. Now, what you can also do is on each of these, you can choose who gets this. So on the post emails, you can send this to everyone who attended. You can send it to people who did not attend. You can send it to the people who ordered the product and you can send it to people that attended but didn't order the product. So you could have four different emails. So this one I could have go out to those who showed up. This one I could have go to those who signed up but didn't show up. And then I can make another one for people that bought and then another one for people who didn't buy. So just some great email options there for that. And the last thing you can do is you can activate your SMS texts. If the person signed up with their phone number, you can have it send messages to them as well. Okay. So you'd want to save that. And then the next thing that we have is the integrations. And this is where you can integrate with your autoresponder. So you choose your autoresponder like AWeber, GetResponse, iContact, etc., etc., etc. In my case, it's AWeber. Okay, name and email. And then you just paste the code here. So you'd have to go into AWeber and create uh, either use a, an existing um, list or create a new list specifically for this webinar and paste it in here. Okay, so then you've got your thank you page and you can display a custom video if you have one. You would just paste that right in here. So this could be a personalized thank you or a demo, whatever it happens to be. And you can display a text message in here. So this would be where you would just put in, you know, whatever information you wanted to tell people. Thanks for joining, etc., etc., etc. And once again, you can preview that if you'd like. You can see this is what the thank you page would look like. It gives the webinar information, gives you a link to the live webinar. You can add it to your calendars, add it to uh, uh, your Google Calendar, your iCal, your Outlook, etc. You can also have a, an SMS reminder sent to your phone. And of course, you can have a video that we mentioned playing here. And this is the text that you just wrote out. And uh, that's your thank you page. So the next thing you have is the countdown. And the countdown, you can display a custom video if you wanted to. Okay. You can preview that. And so if people show up before the webinar, this is what they'll get. You're too early. We haven't started yet. All the information, the time, and the video. Very, very easy to set this stuff up. Uh, the live, you can set up some of your live information. So you can enable pre-configured offers. So for instance, if you had a, uh, a free ebook, 
put the information about the free ebook here. Okay, and then you can put an image. So if you had an image of that, you could paste that in here. And you can set a price for it or a message. Okay, you can make it say add to cart, download now, sign up today, check it out, etc. So show me more we could go with. And then you can have a link to that URL. So wherever that sales page is, you would paste that sales page in there. In our case, it's a JVZoo product, so we would copy that. And we just paste that in there. And you can have it open in a different tab so it doesn't take over the webinar. They can still be listening to the webinar when they go there. You can add another offer if you wanted to. So let's say you had uh, something else you wanted to show at another point in here. You could do that as well. And we're just going to remove that for now. You can also have pre recorded video presentations. Okay. So this would be you'd name it and you'd put the URL in here. You could do another one if you wanted to, and you can have your social media shares in here as well. And when you're done, you can just hit save module. And now you got your replay area. And this page is going to configure the page. This is going to configure the page where they can watch the webinar after it's already been done live. They can see the replay. So you can offer the webinar replay to your users. And then in here you can choose whether to use the actual recorded live session a pre-recorded video of your choice. So for instance, maybe you downloaded the live version of uh, the webinar and then maybe you made a couple of edits and re-uploaded it and now you can use that if you want. Or you can just send them to a URL of, their ch of your choice. So for instance, if uh, they go to see the replay, they can just be redirected to the sales page instead and this will redirect them for you. Uh, you can apply an expiration period. So if you wanted to have it play forever, you can. Or you can say you only want it to have uh, access for 48 hours and then it's going to disappear. You can do that. And then you can allow the users to send questions. And so this is if they're watching the replay and they've got a question about the product, they can type it into the box and it'll come to your email. So you would just put in your email here. And then you can display a fixed offer if you want. So this would be like I showed you in the other one where if you wanted to have the box pop up with the offer, you can do that in here. Just put the name, the offer title, the image again, uh, the message, the add to cart or whatever button you want to using your uh, or whatever button you want to use. And then, of course, the link and you can do a display time. So maybe this is uh, going to pop up in three minutes or five minutes seven minutes into it. So if you got a 20 minute presentation, maybe you won't, maybe you don't want it to pop up until minute 10. Well, now it's not going to pop up until minute 10. Uh, you can even go as far as seconds. So 10 minutes and 15 seconds in is when you say, click the button now and you can have it pop up if you want. And again, you can have your social media share buttons on there. So Facebook and Twitter. And when you're done, you just hit save module. Okay. And the final things in here, miscellaneous. So you can, uh, you can insert your affiliate link here. So again, like I showed in the um, display of the replay in the bottom where it says uh, powered by Webinar Jam, if you put your name in here for your affiliate link, you'll get credit if somebody buys through it. And when you're done, you just hit publish. So you can publish the webinar or you can email links to admins. And that's it. You're all set. So if you click the email links to admins, it's going to send it out to the two admins. And if you publish the webinar, which I'm not going to do, it'll get everything started. So that's the basics of Webinar Jam, an absolutely amazing piece of software. Like I said, we just did our first webinar and it went very smoothly. Um, surprisingly, we didn't even have many problems with Hangouts themselves, which tend to be a little buggy at times. But the software worked great. The webinar worked great. People signed up. The people that signed up ended up in the... Uh, Autoresponder, as you can see here, we've got all the people that were in the autoresponder here. So all of that worked. They received their emails. I've checked with people afterwards. I mean, everything just worked exactly as it was supposed to. So overall, Webinar Jam is an absolute 11 in a scale of 1 to 10. I've not really worked with any other software that is this polished and works this well and lives up to all of the hype. And because of that, of course, we have created a huge bonus specifically for this product because of that. And uh, that bonus is available at raythevideoguide.com slash webinar jam bonus. And here you can watch the actual uh, webinar jam uh, video from 
Mike and Andy that'll show you all the stuff about that. And down here you can see all the stuff that we have available for the bonus. We've got the YouTube Interactive Course, YouTube Market Crusher, Video Ranking Machine, uh, YouTube Marketing Pack, which includes things like lower thirds and buttons and channel templates and custom thumbnail templates, etc., etc., that are just going to help you to get started. We've got a full graphics pack that you can use in all of your marketing inside your videos, etc. And then we've got the royalty free music packs. So if you need to add music to your videos, you can do that without getting into trouble. And of course, you'll be included in our Facebook Mastermind group, which uh, currently has about 2,000 active members, actually about 2,200 active members. So you'll be able to ask any questions about video marketing in there with all of those great folks, as well as myself. I spend a lot of time in there. So that's our bonus for this particular product. If you'd like to learn more, again, it's raythevideoguide.com slash webinar jam bonus. And uh, jump in today because they've got a special going that's going to end shortly. So you want to jump in as soon as possible. Again, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.